What is going on guys? Mr. Novice Ninja here and today I am bringing you guys a tutorial on how you can create your very own thumbnails for YouTube for free using Pixlr. Pixlr is a free and easy to use online program that works in many ways like Photoshop and all you have to do is sign up for free. Once you've signed up, scroll down to the Pixlr editor and click launch web app. Once the app has launched, it should bring you here where you're gonna click create a new image now here is where your name is and uh, your width and height so I'm just gonna name it thumb test thumbnail test and and the width for YouTube uh, thumbnails has to be 1280 and the height 720 now really important make sure you click the transparent box down here and now we're ready to go click OK and this is your thumbnail. Anything within the uh, gray square checkers is your thumbnail. The first thing we need is a background. So I'm just going to throw some examples out really quickly. A sunburst background. Um, a grunge background. A gradient background. All of them work um, really well. And you can do anything you want for your background. These are just some quick examples. But for today, I'm going to use a sunburst background. Find one you like that's a good enough size. So I like this one right here. The size is perfect. Right click the image with your mouse and go to save image as. So I'm just going to save this as green thumb for green thumbnail background. Click save. Now once you have saved it go back to Pixlr and click file open image. Find your image, double click the image and it will bring you here. Now we want to get this background on to here. So what I'm going to do for that is click this and click control A, control C to copy it. And I'm going to go back here and click control V to paste it. Now we don't need this anymore so just click X and click no. And here's our background for our thumbnail. Now in Pixlr you can use text, you can write out stuff, you can make it larger and stuff. All everything works but for today I'm gonna use online text so go to cooltext.com that's what I use you can use whatever you want and look at all these amazing fonts they got here and designs you can use let's use skate and uh, let's just make it epic thumbnail for as our example make the text size a bit bigger so I'm going to make it 135 and click create logo. Now you don't have to do any of the steps. Of course you can just use this here. But for today I'm going to use this. Now once you have he this here, click the image and it should automatically download as a PNG. Click save. Now head back to Pixlr and open it like it's an image. So go to file, open image and you will find it here. Here it is, epic thumbnail. Looks good. Now to select it, once again, click Control A, Control C to copy it, and Control V to paste it. There we go, epic thumbnail. Now let's say I want to make it a bit bigger. Go to Edit, Free Transform. Here you can make it bigger, smaller, and you can turn it around. Now make sure, don't make sure to not ruin the proportion, and let's give it a bit of a spin, like that make it a bit smaller click yes to apply the changes and using our move tool button in the top right hand side I'm gonna move it around to here that looks good now we need some detail just um, uh, for this I'm just gonna use an emoji but you guys can use anything you want relating to your video so I'm just gonna go here and grab this PNG emoji and make sure it's a PNG it will have the gray square tiles click click the right hand on your mouse and go to save image as emoji PNG yep click save go back to Pixlr go to file open image find your image double click and it should appear now Remember, click Control A, that will select our image. Control C will copy it. 
and control V will paste it. Now, our emoji here is huge. That would not work. So what I'm going to do to shrink it is go to edit, free transform, and I'm going to shrink him a lot. But make sure not to ruin the proportion of him. So like the little blob he is like this. Perfect. Apply the changes. I'm going to move him around. And now I have an epic thumbnail. We don't need this anymore. Just click X. There's no need to save it. Click no. Now let's say I want to add some touches. Let's say, oh, maybe I want the background to be a bit brighter or darker. Here under layers, you will find the layer of the background. The background is layer one. So now I'm at the background. Go to adjustments, brightness and contrast here. So you can make it a bit darker. Change the contrast. Oh, that looks nice. And click OK. Same thing. Now I, but I want to get to the emoji, but I just move the background. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put this background back into place. There we go. Now I'm going to go to the emoji and go to his layer. And now I can move him. And if I wanted to change his brightness and contrast, I can. Like so. But I'm just going to leave it like this. And now, to save our image, just go over to File, Save. Uh, you can save it as a PNG or a JPEG. A JPEG is probably the best because it doesn't take up much. Now, we don't want our quality to be a potato, so we're going to make it 100. It will take more, uh, the file size will be bigger, but it, it will look much nicer. And all we're going to do is click OK. It's going to download. And we're done. Next time you want to create a video with a custom thumbnail, you can make it right here. If you guys have any questions at all, leave them down in the comments below and I will get back to them ASAP. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Mr. Novice Ninja and I will see you in the next one.